this is awesome. I'm just so happy I'm here. Let's get into it. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for episode one of Supernatural season five, Sympathy for the Devil. I'll be right honest, I didn't expect to get here this soon, especially with how slowly I reviewed the first season. I picked it up a bit with season two and season three, and then season four, kabang! Season four's reviews aren't out all yet and i'm reviewing this i'm very very excited to talk about this season with you guys as far as i have always viewed it i've always viewed this season as the best one however after having watched season four there's some pretty good stiff competition it's kind of cool too when the opening of this season while as good as it is is not as good as lazarus rising which let's be honest here lazarus rising is pretty much the best season opener that the show ever had. Not exactly expecting it to be beaten, but there's obviously a lot that happens in this episode. We see Lucifer convince Nick to let him become his vessel. And as long as we cut out that shit from season 13 and 14 and 12 and whatnot, which I'm doing right now, it's a great manipulation. It's the devil using his silver tongue to convince someone to join his side. Turn the sympathy literally on the devil and convince a man who is at the his wits end he's literally at the end of his want to live and have him join his side and i love that that it's not anything that was coerced by lucifer it's nothing to do with anyone having some sort of pre-ordained destiny because that's not supposed to be you know who later on it is literally a man who had a bad day a really 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 bad day and uses the fact that God didn't stop what happened, that no one stopped what happened, and he uses that as a crux to make Nick say yes. The visual aspect of this part of the episode is so well done, so horrifying, such great imagery to show per uh, someone going through grief. The Nick portion of this episode is really good. The part that kind of goes up and down, just only a little bit though, is Sam and Dean. They get zapped onto the plane randomly, and then they meet up with Zachariah and the other angels, and they find out that they have to go and find something of 43 dogs with the help of Becky, which forgot she was introduced in this episode, and eh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're waiting for season seven of that crap, but she's bearable, I guess, in this episode. And it turns out that the sword of Michael isn't actually a physical thing, it is Dean himself. And I like how Zachariah is so hell-bent on trying to make Dean say yes, because they want this to play out. But then when he is met with a literal act of God, being that of Castiel being brought back to life, he can't find any means to counter it or say that anything different but he's still so set in what he's supposed to do that and also going back bobby was possessed by a demon and we see meg return in the uh, oh, i can't remember this actress's name but she's great she does leave the body though so it's kind of interesting how she goes back to the body later on we saw bobby kind of what it, we saw bobby be right up cold to Sam obviously as a demon but with how Bobby delivers it it's so hard hitting to you and you're like damn that's cold Bobby then we see him sacrifice himself essentially to save Dean's life and I forgot this bit it's been so long since I've watched season five I forgot the Bobby in a wheelchair bit all in all sympathy for the devil is a great starting point it has a lot of cool moments sure it drags a little bit here and there but we see a lot of the pieces being put together for the big be all end all with the battle against lucifer and i also like how it ends with dean telling sam i straight up cannot trust you and that is probably one of the most hard-hitting things because while we have seen the brothers go back and forth with each other especially with how season four ended the acceptance of it all the understanding that dean has about sam's situation his want to take back what he did his knowledge that he knows that what he did wrong but it still happened and Dean can't trust his brother at this point. That is essentially a crux of what will be Swan Song. The brothers go from a point where they can't trust each other, they can't be bothered to try and save each other or want to save each other, to Dean literally throwing himself into the fire, even knowing that his brother might not be able to help him, but he's letting his brother know that he will be there for him. It's cool to see where we're starting and knowing where we're going to end, but the ride along is still going to be really fun. So aside from some pacing issues, some jokes that just don't really land, 
and kind of just unfortunately not being Lazarus Rising in terms of goody goodness. Sympathy for the Devil is going to get a 5 out of 7 for me. Not a great score, but still a pretty decent one, and especially in terms of an opening, we're setting up a lot of things that are definitely going to get real interesting later on. I'm hoping you guys are excited as I am as we continue on with our season reviews of Supernatural. Particularly what's going to be really fun, and that's actually kind of the, the crux for me about reviewing this, is we're going to go into Season 6, which I haven't seen realistically in its entirety since it aired. Same with 7, same with 8, same with 9, and definitely with 10. After this season, we are going to go into kind of uncharted territory for me. But speaking of uncharted territory, I'm going to want you guys' comments about the next episode, which is good god, y'all. So make sure to leave those comments in the comment section below, and I'll read those off in the next review. Otherwise, guys, thank you again for joining me on this adventure. I hope you like Season 4, because we're going to love Season 5. In the end, I'll see you guys on the next video. If you like this video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.